What is up guys? Today we're taking a look at the Asus ZenBook Pro UX501. So let's start off by taking a look around the computer. So on the right side of this thing you have your two USB 3.0 ports, a full size SD card slot, and your standard 3.5mm headphone jack. On the left side of this computer you can find your USB Type-C port all the way over on the right, and next to that an HDMI port, another USB 3.0 port, and finally your circular charging port. And on the bottom front, there's three light indicators. The design of this laptop looks really nice. The full metal body feels great when you're using it, and it just looks really clean. As well, it's pretty thin too, measuring in at a close size of 0.8 inches thick. The whole computer just has a nice subtle shine to it, and has some really good looking beveled edges. As far as the keyboard goes, it feels decent, but the extra large letters on each of the keys look a bit ugly. One cool thing though is the design of the speakers and how they're built right into the keyboard. The speakers sound really crisp, but I wish they were just a tad louder. Now taking a look at the screen on this computer, this laptop is rocking a 15.6 inch touchscreen display with an absolutely amazing 4K resolution. The exact resolution is 3840 by 2160 and oh boy does this thing look nice. Everything is super vibrant and crisp, and as well, this video really doesn't do it any justice. Also, there are some color enhancing features at work. Inside this computer, you'll find some really awesome specs including a 2.6 GHz Intel Core i7 processor, a NVIDIA GTX graphic coprocessor, and 16 GB of RAM. All this together makes for a seamless and very well experience. While playing a multitude of games, things only lagged out once, but only for a second. Other than that, I've had an absolute perfect experience with this thing. Everything is super snappy. The battery lasts for a pretty decent amount of time, but compared to other similarly priced laptops, it's a bit worse. I was able to get around 5-ish hours of time on it, but that varied a little lasting longer or shorter depending on how much intense stuff I was doing. As well, charging time is pretty good too. It didn't take too long, but it wasn't the quickest thing ever. The overall feel while using this computer is really good, especially if you're used to a plastic bodied computer. The screen looks absolutely gorgeous, performance is incredible, and the sound is really clean without any distortions. The only things I don't prefer is really just the letters on the keyboard. Other than that, one small detail, everything else is pretty much great. The price on Amazon for this laptop is about $1,500, which isn't cheap, but it is a reasonable price for what this computer packs. Thanks for watching. If you want to take a further look at this computer, feel free to go down in the description because I'll have a few links to it there. As well, don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome content like this. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.